Hey, it's Jim from Janku, and I'm over here in VS Codium. Now, I use the Vim emulator in my VS Codium, so in my editor, I can use the Vim shortcuts. So, for example, I can do a Shift A to insert mode to the end of the line, Control C to get out of insert mode, Shift I to go to the front of the line, etc. I can navigate with pressing J to go down, K to go up. Now, one thing that happens uh, in my VS Codium is that it doesn't respect my system's underlying Vim configuration. So, for instance, if I come here and I do a visual block, so I'll hold shift and press V and I'll select this. And then if I do shift and I do an angle bracket to the right, it will indent, but it gets out of visual mode. Now I like my visual mode to persist uh, beyond indent so I can indent multiple times. Now over here, I have a stack overflow post that talks about doing this in Vim. So for instance, you can come down here and you can add these settings to your Vim configuration file, which is your Vim RC file. So I'm going to copy that. And first I'm going to go over here and put this into my Vim RC file. So I'm going to do Vim and then I'm going to do the tilde. That's my home directory dot Vim RC. That's my Vim RC file. I'll press I to go to insert mode and then I'll paste this and then I'll do control C to get out. Then do a colon WQ to right quit and then a bang to override any changes. So now if I come here and I go into Vim RC and I do a visual block, so I'll do shift V and then I'll press down and then I, try to indent once the same way before with the shift right bracket. It goes once and I can do twice and I can go back. So that seems to be working. Now I just need to make sure that this works in my VS Codium. So if I come back over here and I were to highlight this again and I were to do a shift and then left bracket, it still gets out of the visual mode every time I press that. So I'm going to come over here to my, my Vim plugin settings. And if you're not familiar where this is, so if you're in your file browser, just come down here to your extensions and then go to your Vim plugin that I've already enabled here. You could search for it if you haven't done that. And then just press the gear icon here. And then I can come here to extension settings. Now from here, I'm going to do space and just type Vim RC. And that will bring up the extension settings for this. And basically what I want to do is I want to enable my Vim RC. So it says use key mappings from a dot Vim RC file. So I'll click the checkbox to the left of that to enable it. And then over here, you can see the Vim path that it's looking for. So there's several paths. We're using the home Vim RC directory. So home is the same thing as the tilde that we had edited previously. And now that this is enabled, I should be able to come back here to my editor and I can do something like a visual block shift V and then I can indent and I can indent multiple times or bring it back multiple times. And then I can get out of that by just pressing control C. So hopefully that helps you if you're struggling to get your VS Codium Vim emulator to respect your system settings. But this is a great way to get some of your carryover. If you have some ergonomic workflows that you're using previously in Vim, you can pull them into your VS Codium directly. Hope that helps and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.